David Hazen, Networks Up Level Humanity. Yay. Let's hear it for David. Thank you. Save the best for last. The most interesting person in this picture to me is this woman on the left who is most likely to be the next person to perform an act of compassion because she's inspired by what she sees. Can we inspire more people to be compassionate by introducing them to a network of collaborators safely in a welcoming manner? These people who are curating the sense of empathy for the community. But here's the problem. This is just a small uh, snapshot of part of the uh, collaboration and uh, compassionate community in Eugene. And you could see that United Way is just one of many organizations dealing with shelter security. And if you go to their website, there's lots of information there, but it is not cross-referenced to other organizations. So this is a map of all of the uh, people involved in Compassion in U the Eugene area. The business donors are the Yellow Hearts, the Faith Community, the Purple Icons, the Government, the Blue Ones, and so on. They are in segregated silos in a system that is struggling to deal with uh, an influx of refugees all needing shelter. And would they work better as a coordinated team like this, a family that is moving together and, uh, and moving, you know, like a flock of birds. And this is my favorite image, because uh, a, a flock of geese implements the uh, servant leader model, where everybody gets to rotate to the front and pump their uplift through the community. And network studies have shown that uh, when small communities uh, of practice start to see each other, uh, suddenly, without warning, a larger network will emerge at scale. And last April, we challenged the Hack for a Cause uh, software engineers to come up with a platform that was uh, creating conversation between people helping people. And the team from CBT Nuggets took on this, and we've named it the SOAR platform. And it will be a what I call a murmuration of people helping people. And um, it's due for a beta test really soon. And this is a simplified map of how it's going to work, is that people will create their own profile and submit projects, which then uh, they're all collected in a database. And uh, the, they can be mined for information about community progress. This is a screen snapshot that shows how far the development has come along. And the security expert who looked at the back end of that said the privacy was rock solid. Uh, each project, each profile will generate tags where uh, interests and skills will get matched with organizations and other people with compatible interests. If it's successful, the SOAR platform will introduce people to meaningful experiences of collaboration. And as Lao Tse has said, in the end, everyone will know that everyone did it. Um, each project will have uh, the ability to, to browse other projects and create events and be regularly informed by email and online calendars of upcoming events, events like this one, which has details that will motivate volunteers to get involved and will also accumulate hours and dollars that were donated during the project. And each project will have a timeline uh, marking progress towards goals. And those projects will get listed on the landing page to inspire people to register for the SOAR software. Now, these developers have been donating their time every Sunday morning since last April. And if you are familiar with React or Node, JavaScript, or Mongo database, they'd love to recruit you. 
Uh, Nathan is up there. Wave your hand. And there are over 600 cities of the International Cities of Peace and the uh, Cities of Compassion that would be very happy to receive this software. Thank you.